Hey VC, this is Chris. I'm back to do uh, part two on the Vinyl Tag 2020. After I finished my video uh, a couple weeks ago, I realized that I had skipped over two questions. Not sure how I did that, but uh, back when I was working, we had this guy work the night shift, and we all were always joked that uh, unless we double spaced uh, written instructions for him he would screw things up so I must be turning into that guy so um, the two questions I missed were um, uh, somebody that I had their discography and a uh, interesting record label I sort of referenced that I showed a, a label uh, but it was using the album for a different question, so I need to revisit that one. So, what I say that I've got the discography of is uh, Roy Buchanan, a blues guitarist, blues rock guitarist. So, I've got most of, seems like I have all his studio regularly released albums between uh, 1972 and 1986. So I'll briefly show those and then uh, do the uh, label and then I'll round this out by and showing a couple of uh, or answering a couple of questions from the uh, alternate uh, vinyl tag. So starting off with uh, Roy's first album self-titled from 1972. There's a picture of him with the uh, snake stretchers. There was another uh, Roy and the snake stretchers. This is on uh, Polydor. That was issued later. I, I don't have that one, and that wasn't part of the you know his normal releases. That was you know sort of a posthumous or come lately type release. So. Uh, does a lot of covers on here. Uh, Sweet Dreams, which was like a Patsy Cline song. I'm a Lonesome Fugitive. Uh, Liz Anderson, I think. Uh, Merle Haggard may have done that. Uh, the Messiah Will Come. That was one of his own compositions. He revisits that uh, several times, I think, on other albums. Oops. Then, uh, second album. This one's in a library sleeve, so hard to take out, but also on Polydor. Uh, tribute to Elmore James is one of the songs on here. This one's mostly, uh, does a Roy Head song, but, uh, mostly... Roy Buchanan compositions. Uh, Roy Buchanan, that's what I'm here for. 1973. Still on Polydor. Roy Buchanan in the beginning. 1974 Polydor release. I'm a Ram, CC Rider, Wayfaring Stranger, Do Joe Zawinol, Country Preacher. Livestock. Polydor, 1975. Another version of I'm a Ram, Does I'm Evil, Roy's Blues, Farther on Up the Road. Sounds like something that Eric Clapton might do. A Street Called Straight. Still has some shrink wrap on it, so it's glare. This is, he switched to Atlantic now, 1976. 
If six was nine, Jimi Hendrix song, uh, The Messiah Will Come Again, you know, a remake of that earlier one, 1977, Loading Zone, still on Atlantic. Adventures of Br'er Rabbit and Tar Baby. It's uh, his composition. Green Onions, Booker T and the MGs. Roy Buchanan, You're Not Alone. On Atlantic, uh, 1978. Turn to Stone, a Joe Walsh uh, tune. Down by the River, Neil Young. So he's pretty good on picking uh, covers or just does good versions of them. Roy Buchanan, My Babe. This is on uh, Waterhouse Records. Nineteen eighty. Uh, Norman Whitfield song. It should have been me. Half the album is uh, originals. When a guitar plays the blues. On the alligator. So he's uh, jumping around a little bit at this point. That's the title track when a guitar plays the blues. Uh, sneaking Godzilla through the alley. Another title on here. And then the last one in this run. Dancing on the Edge, and he's got uh, Delbert McClinton as the guest vocalist. You might be able to see that from the hype sticker on several of the titles. Uh, you can't judge a book by the cover. Still on Alligator, 1986, uh, does a uh, version of Peter Gunn. Beer drinking woman, baby, baby, baby. So, so that's the end of these studio albums, and then just to wrap it up, uh, the Roy Buchanan anthology, Sweet Dreams, uh, two disc uh, BMG uh, record club issue box set. All right, then uh, the labels. This one I showed before. I said this was what I really originally intended to show. Bobby Brown, or Bob Brown. The wall I built myself on the uh, Stormy Forest label. Star People Records, uh, Terry Brooks and Strange, Raw Power, or To Earth With Love, I mean. So there's the Star People label. But, you, know, you could have shown just about any uh, custom label and say that that's uh, cool, but Star People is an actual label. And then Raw Power, Terry Brooks and Strange, or just going under the title Strange here. This is Outer Galaxy music. So 
There's the outer galaxy label. Not real fancy, but uh, nice. And then the last one is this album, Acapella Showcase by the Chessmen. This is on the Relic label. So there's the Relic label. Again, not real complicated, but uh, effective. You know, spider web type uh, effect. So, as it implies, the uh, vocal group, a cappella music. All right, now the uh, uh, vinyl tag, alternate vinyl tag, or the real vinyl tag, I don't know. Um, one of the things, so I don't have these in order, I'm just going off what I remember or what the album tells me. So, an album with a cowboy on it. So, there's a, a twofer. The title of the band is Cowboy, and there is an illustrated cowboy on the front. This is on the Capricorn label, so part of that uh, you know, Almond Brothers sound. They've got some ties to the Almond Brothers. Southern Rock. Uh, somebody in their underwear or diaper or loincloth, whatever. So Ted Nugent Scream Dream. There he is in a, a loincloth. There he is as a flamenco dancer, maybe, or a toreador. Epic label. 1980. Ted Nugent. Uh, show an album with a motorcycle. So there is uh, Sam. Sam Samadio from uh, Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs, hard and heavy, on uh, Atlantic. There he is astride his motorcycle. And then another one which ties into uh, Eric Weinbender's video. So Santa Esmeralda 2 in the the House of the Rising Sun. So there are the three girls with the motorcycle. Another shot of the motorcycle. This is the uh, Jimmy Goins version of Santa Esmeralda. Uh, Eric Weinbender showed the Leroy Gomez version, which was uh, the second vocalist for this band on uh, Casablanca 1978 sort of uh, dancey uh, type music won't say it's disco but uh, you know edging that way but you know House of the Rising Sun seems to be a great song no matter what style it's done in all right a uh, Nude cover. So, last of the Mohicans album by Bow Wow Wow. The black RCA label. And then a Sexy cover. I always found this one uh, to be very sexy to me. Linda Ronstadt, Hasten Down the Wind. Asylum, 1976. And then some albums, oh, okay, uh, a jacked album. I bought this one recently because it was uh, 
cheap. Jim Croce, The Faces I've Been, which is a 2LP compilation. Some of his early stuff and later comes with a, you know, a one-page booklet. Not bad. Uh, when I got the album on uh, Life Song, turned out only one of the uh, discs were included. And the one that was included, I don't know if you can tell that, that's, uh, it was warped. And then the warp has a big crack going right through the middle of it, which might be harder to see, but you know, that was, uh, you know, pretty bad. Doubling up on the problems. Uh, next one was an album with an autograph. So this is another twofer uh, for Ralph Grierson. So he's doing three uh, modern classical uh, pieces. Uh, one for Morton Sabotnik, a Frederick Lesseman, and a William Kraft. So, gatefold. Um, right there you can see. Jan, thanks for the support. Ralph. Ralph Grierson, the uh, keyboardist. And this is doubles as uh, an album that I got due to a VC member. Chris Cole at John Coltrane 68 showed this and uh, convinced me that I needed to go get it. So, And then another one also due to uh, Chris Cole that he convinced me to get was... Uh, this was uh, in a solo guitar video that he had done was in response to a thread. So Linda Cohen, Angel Alley, she's a classical guitarist. But she doesn't just do straight guitar. She's got uh, you know, synthesizer accompaniment on the to tomato label. So, Angel Alley, I went and got that, but that wasn't enough, so I ended up going and picking up a second one. Lake of Light, Linda Cohen. This one's uh, 73, the other one I think is from the 80s. So this one's on poppy rather than on uh, tomato. Yeah, 1973, so... Again, more guitar with uh, some accompanying instruments on there. So, all right, VC, that was my uh, wrapping up uh, the vinyl tag since I forgot those questions. And then I threw in a couple of bonus uh, questions too. So, thanks everybody. And I'll see you later. All right, VC, I almost forgot. Uh, this uh, video was brought to you by... Ricky Ticky from uh, the local uh, brewery Straight to Ale. So this is a double IPA mango infused beer. It uh, comes in at 10.1% uh, alcohol. So thanks everyone for watching. See you later.